this video I am going to explain Cauchy's integral formulae and this topic is from complex integration. So here the statement states that let f of z be an analytic function everywhere on and with an closed contour C. If z is equal to a is any point within C then we have to show that f of a is equal to 1 by 2 pi i times of integral c f of z by z minus a into dz. See here what is given f of z is given as an analytic function. It is analytic everywhere on and within a closed contour c. And now let us take a closed contour c. See here. So this is some contour c. And f of z, see here, given f of z is analytic on and within, within, within the contour C, it is analytic. Analytic means it is differentiable everywhere within and on the closed contour C. And what is this contour? Contour is nothing but an irregular shape. Then, it is asked and it is also given that if z is equal to a and let us consider a point z is equal to some a point here z is equal to a is a small uh, point that is if any point within c within the contour c then f of a the function of a is defined as 1 by 2 pi a times of integral c f of z by z minus a into dz and now see what we have to do so in this contour just see here proof let f of z be analytic within a closed contour so everybody knows that f of z is analytic in a closed contour and let z is equal to a be within c so z is equal to a is a point within the contour c choose a suitably small positive number r naught so consider a small number r naught radius r naught and describe a circle c naught see here let us describe a circle so i am describing a circle here with a suitable radius which is r naught so this is a contour c naught so this c naught is within the contour c see here what is given f of z is an analytic within a closed contour this f of z is analytic within and on the closed contour let z is equal to a is given within the contour c so now we have to choose a small positive number r naught so this is a small radius number very small positive number r naught described in a circle c naught so this is a circle c naught with radius r naught and center a so that this circle c naught is entirely within c so this is a small construction part so here what is given from the statement it is given that f of z is analytic function within on on the closed contour and it is also given that z is equal to a is a point within c so i have taken a point z is equal to a within the contour c and now i have taken a very small radius that is r naught such that c naught is a circle with radius r naught and z a center point z is equal to a is a center point and this circle c naught is within the main contour c and now we have to show that f of a is equal to the function at a is equal to 1 by 2 pi i times of integral c f of z by z minus a into dz now see here so the small contour c is nothing but so this is nothing but this can be written as z minus a is equal to this is r naught r naught is a radius a is a center this is a equation of the circle in the jet plane so now if i take the modulus then everybody knows that z minus a is equal to r into e power i theta see here r is the magnitude and e power i theta is an orchimate matrix so if i send a to other side see here z is equal to a plus r into e power i theta got it see here now i need dz so what is the derivative here so dz is nothing but a is a constant this is 0 r this is e power i theta and again this is i so with respect to theta this will be d theta clear so z is equal to as you know that 
it is from the circle equation we got z is equal to a plus r into e power i theta so if i make a derivative dz is equal to this is 0 r into e power i theta i times of d theta now we have to calculate this one so we have to show that f of a is equal to 1 by 2 pi times of integral c f of z by z minus a into dz now i'll consider this one see here i'm going to consider this one see what happens here so this is f of z dz by z minus a integral so if i consider and substitute the value then this will be integral c so this is integral c what is z here so z value is nothing but a plus r into e power i theta this is a plus r into e power i theta and what is dz dz value is nothing but r into e power i theta i into d theta so here we have r naught so this is nothing but r naught so this is r naught this is r naught and here this is also r naught so in radius we have taken a very small minute value as r naught so this value is r naught and c divided by z minus a what is the value of z minus a r naught e power i theta see here every value is ready here r naught e power i theta now i can easily cancel these two see here i can cancel r naught and e power i theta so what is this one therefore integral f of z dz by z minus a value is nothing but see here so this is nothing but f of a plus r naught e power i theta and what is left over here i into d theta so this is i into d theta so this value is nothing but so this is the value and this is integral c so after substituting all the values we got this value see now what happens here so if you see this figure or diagram so r naught is a very very small value r naught is very small value if it tends to zero if this r naught value if it tends to zero if it comes nearer then it will become a as r tends to zero see here as r tends to zero then r naught will become as a so it will come to the center point a so that is what it is uh, shown so as r tends to zero here as r naught see here as r naught tends to zero the circle so here we have a circle c naught so see here this is the small circle so this is r naught and this is a point a as r naught tends to zero the circle c naught shrinks to shrinks to the point so shrinks to the point a hence allowing see here hence allowing r naught to 10 to 0 10 to 0 we get see here this value will become 0 therefore f of a plus r naught e power i theta so this tends to r naught a plus 0 so this is f of a so in place of f of a plus r naught e power i theta as r naught tends to 0 see here so this value will become 0 and this is nothing but f of i so here i am writing integral c f of z dz by so this step i am copying z minus a is equal to i times of now in place of this i can write as r tends to 0 so this value is nothing but f of a into d theta f of a as it is a circle circle equation so the limit varies from 0 to 360 degrees see here now integral c f of z dz by z minus a is equal to i times of so here theta ranges from 0 to 2 pi this is f of a small a into d theta as it is a constant value i am sending outside and integral c 
एफ ऑफ जेड डी जेड बाय जेड माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू आई इनटू एफ ऑफ ए दिस इज आल्सो ए कांस्टेंट वैल्यू दैट इज थीटा वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू पाई व्हाट रिमाइंस डी थीटा रिमाइंस इंटीग्रल वन इनटू डी थीटा इज नथिंग बट एस यू नो दैट इंटीग्रल एफ ऑफ जेड डी जेड by z minus a is equal to i times of f of a so this is the value of theta and theta varies from this is 0 to 2 pi so if i substitute the upper limit then this will become therefore integral f of z into dz by z minus a is equal to i into f of a into this is 2 pi so this can be written as this is integral f of z dz by z minus a is equal to 2 pi i into f of a if i need this f of a value then see therefore f of a value is equal to if i send this to other side then it divides that is 2 pi i times of integral c f of z dz by z minus a so this is what it is asked to show that see if f of z is analytic within on on the closed contour and z is a small point within the contour then the function at a is equal to 1 by 2 pi i times of f of z dz by z minus a so this is how we have to show and see here let me explain you once again so this is so simple if you understand the statement is also very clear f of z is an analytic function f of z is it's an analytic function everywhere on and within the closed contour c and z is equal to c z is equal to a is a point within the contour within the contour c then the function at a is equal to f of a is equal to 2 pi i times of integral c f of z by z minus a into dz after then we have to show so for that what is given so the given statement is f of z is analytic within a closed contour c so it's very clear that the function f of z is analytic on and within the closed contour c and let z is equal to a is a point within the contour c and now choose a suitably small positive number r not c consider a small number r not radius r not and describe a circle c not so that the circle lies within the contour c so this is the small construction part and see the circle c not is entirely within the contour c and see now we have to show this the function at a we have to show see here now for the circle equation circle equation see here for this circle center a and this is r not and see so this is a c not so the circle equation in z plane is z minus a a is a center and r not is a radius so if i take the modulus this will be z minus a is equal to r not e power i theta so z is equal to a plus r not so see it is r not i forgot to write so r not e power i theta so if i make a derivative dz will be r not e power i theta and again i is a constant for theta this is d theta now i have to consider this integral why so see here from the question we need this one so from the proof integral c f of z dz i'll start from this so i'll consider integral c f of z dz by z minus a so what is z here z is nothing but a plus r not e par i theta what is dz dz is nothing but r not e par i theta i times of this is d theta so this is r not after substituting what is z minus a z minus a a value is nothing but r not e par i theta after substituting and cancelling what remains here i times of f of a plus r not e par i theta into d theta so here if r not tends to zero as it is a very very small value it tends to zero as it comes nearer to zero so r not will become a so as it tends to zero so this can be written as as r not tends to zero see here uh, it shrinks to the point a so as it is a very minute value so it tends to zero so this can be written as f of a so here in this place i wrote in place of f of a plus r not plus e par i theta as it shrinks to a so i wrote this as f of a see here after that what happens here the theta value ranges from 0 to 2 pi 
and see here f of a is a constant i sent it to outside and this is integral 1 d theta integral 1 d theta is nothing but theta so if i substitute the upper limit it is 2 pi i so i need the function at a that is f of a is equal to if i send to other side it divides that is 1 by 2 pi i times of f of z into dz by z minus a so this is what we have to show and this is the Cauchy's integral formula. This is the most most important integral for Cauchy's integral formula. And using this, there are plenty problems. There are so many which to be solved. And I'll upload all the problems related to this Cauchy's integral formula. Please check the playlist and definitely you will find so many solutions. And it will be very very helpful for your preparation. And pass it on to your friends if you really like. And subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.